Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about greater than or less than in terms of numbers. What does that mean for a number to be greater than or less than another number? Well, greater than is the technical math phrase for basically bigger. So you technically say greater than in math, but you could think of it as just bigger, bigger than or larger than. That's some other typical words we use for that. And then less than is the mathematical, and that's pretty much what we say. We could say smaller. It's a smaller number. But we're going to see how that, that can be a little bit misleading when we get into negatives. But let's start with the more straightforward positive numbers because that's what we're used to. So, for example, 5 is greater than 3. Why is that? Well, mathematically, we say that's be only because 5 is to the right of 3, right? You have to move this way to get to 5, so 5 is to the right of 3. And mathematically, that's all greater than means. Something is to the right of another number. All right, so that's straightforward when we're talking about positive numbers. Right, we know 2 is greater than 1 because 2 is to the right of 1. When it gets to negative numbers, it starts to be a little bit counterintuitive because let's look at the same example with negative 5 and negative 2. So when we see a 5, we tend to think, oh, that's bigger than 2. But in negative land over here on uh, below 0, that's not true because negative 5, or sorry, let's say negative 2 is to the right of negative 5. So we say negative 2 is greater than negative 5. Now, how do we write all this mathematically? Well, the greater than sign looks like this. So if we went back to our original example, we say that 5 is greater than 2. And the way I like to think about it is that this big end over here of the sign is over by the bigger number, and this small little pointy end is, is at the small number. All right, and then over here with the negatives, we say that negative 2 is greater than negative 5. And again, that's just because the greater number is to the right of the smaller number. So on the positive side, the greater or larger numbers are farther away from zero. But on the negative side, the larger numbers are actually closer to zero. So let's make some general statements about negative numbers, zero, and positive numbers regarding which is bigger than which. All right, so notice that all the negative numbers down here All the negatives are to the left of zero. So all negatives are less than zero. And then all the positive numbers are over here to the right of zero. So all positive numbers are greater than zero. And zero is greater than all negatives. So let's just write it this way. Zero is greater than any negative number and positive numbers are always greater than zero and positives are always greater than negatives. So let's just pick a random negative number, negative, negative eight and a random positive number 3, we can be guaranteed that 3 is greater than negative 8 because 3 is positive. Except let's write it in this order. 3 is greater than negative 8. So this leads us into the less than, which is simply the opposite of greater than. So everything we just said about greater than, the opposite is true for less than. So what does that mean? Well, in this first example over here, if 3 is greater than negative 8, 
That means negative 8 is less than 3. So again, notice that the that open end of the symbol is by the big number, and the small end is by the smaller number. So I like that way of remembering. All right, now let's talk some more about less than. So we said that a, a greater or larger number is to the right of a smaller number, and the opposite is true too. A smaller number is to the left of a greater number, right? And with positives, um, it's pretty intuitive. For instance, 1 is less than 4 because 1 is to the left of 4. And again, with uh, negatives, it's a little counterintuitive because with negatives, it's true that negative 4 is actually less than negative 1 because, again, negative 4 is to the left of negative 1. And again, um, just as we can make some generalizations with greater than, we can make the opposite generalizations with less than. We can say that all negatives are less than zero we can because all the negatives are to the left of zero we can say that zero is less than all positives because zero is to the left of all the positive numbers And we can say that all negatives are less than any or all positives because all the negatives are to the left of all the positives. So take any negative number, let's say negative 2, and any positive number, let's say 1, and we know that the negative has to be less than the positive. And then going back over here, we can say any negative is also less than zero. Take a, let's take an extreme, negative 116. Seems like a big number, but no, it's actually less than zero. Now you may know that an equation is when you have an equal sign between two things, like you could say two equals two and something called an inequality is a statement using one of these symbols we just talked about in this lesson. So that right there is what we call an inequality. It's, an, it's not equal. That's basically what that's saying. So uh, negative 2 is less than 1 is an example of an inequality, and so is a greater than statement. So let's say um, 5 is greater than negative 16, that is also an inequality. The takeaway in this lesson is very simple. If a number is to the right of another number, it's greater than, to the right. If a number is to the left of a number, it is less than. That's all there is to it. And then just remember that the, the wide end of the symbol should be with the larger number on that side. And the small little pointy end should be with the smaller number. All right, see you in the next video.